summer's heat has turned deadly in our area. Local and state health departments are reporting at least five heat-related deaths since early June. News Force Jackie Benson takes a look at how people are taking precautions, even changing their routines to cope with this dangerous weather. Even the coolest part of the day is hot. Even the breeze is hot. Many people are adjusting their routines, waiting until as late in the day as possible to do outside things, like walking the dog. We have to wait for him. Like yeah. He's like going out 10 minutes and then he's like exhausted. Summer 2024's heat has now proven deadly. The Office of the Maryland Medical Examiner confirms four men have died of heat-related causes since early June. All were residents of Prince George's County. They ranged in ages from 45 to over 65. In Virginia, the Department of Health confirms one death due to heat so far this summer. No other details were provided. No information is currently available on heat-related deaths in the district. And it stresses the body to a point where so many times if you're not taking breaks, if you're not drinking, uh, drinking water frequently, if you're not in the AC, your body is going to go down and it's going to go down very quickly. And a lot of times you don't even realize how fast your body is going in that negative direction. News 4 Chief Meteorologist Doug Kammerer says heat islands are one reason for the variation in temperatures, all of them hot, throughout the area. So when you're standing on top of a blacktop, that temperature could be upwards of 120 degrees right over top of the road that you're sitting on. In this community garden in Arlington, an effort to keep carefully tended vegetables alive. The leaves of some tomato plants are already yellowed and curled up from dryness. The evening's persistent heat drew customers to ice cream shops like this one in College Park, where there's a steady stream of customers looking to cool down with an icy treat. That's what I needed right now. That's why I came outside in the heat. A number of local jurisdictions have opened cooling centers where people can get inside and out of the heat. We expect to see more of them as temperatures and humidity continue to rise this week. In College Park, Jackie Benson, News 4.